Alright, so we're over here in Bangkok Fight Lab here on Onut, which is a neighborhood here in Bangkok on the east side of it. We're going to get our asses handed to us by training some badass Muay Thai. I'm going to get smoked, I'm going to feel tired, I'm going to feel pissed off and angry, and most importantly, I'm going to feel, feel a lot of pain. That's okay, because Tiger Bomb heals everything and I can just get a good night's rest. We're going to go inside, we're going to go train with Master Crew Song Kram. He is a world champion Muay Thai fighter back in his heyday. From some of the videos I've seen, he's, he was a world champion back in like the 70s and the 80s. And now, he's gonna train my pathetic, lanky ass in Muay Thai. Let's go inside. We started off Muay Thai training with five minutes of intense jump rope followed by leg stretches in the ring. If you have zero jump rope rhythm like me, then this will absolutely wear the hell out of you before you even start throwing elbows and knees. It also doesn't help that my cardio is absolutely horrendous. Thank God, I was already a smoker. And that's a, this is just like merely the beginning. Stretching, incredibly important. Don't pull anything. So if you're looking to build not only your strength, but your cardio, then Muay Thai might be the perfect fit for you. It will gas you out. Two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Now work out the hamstrings. I'm in a lot of pain. Easy. Oh, easy. Very hard. He's hurting me. It's okay. 15, 16. Now obviously wrist wraps are very important. Personally I have very flimsy paper wrists. I get wrist injuries easily, especially during my years of weightlifting. So whatever you can do to strengthen the wrist, whether it's knuckle push-ups or even wrist wraps. Nicest man I've ever met, but very dangerous. He's a world champion. After a grueling and tough cardio warm-up and stretch, we practiced movement drills. Moving from side to side, front and back, while keeping our hands up to maintain a guard, before starting our punch and kick combinations. Five, two, one, two. Spinning elbow. Light elbow. Sweet. Sweet left knee. Lie up, elbow. Lie elbow. Lie knee. Two left up, elbow. Yeah. Keep back your hand. Yeah. Again, he didn't, he didn't. Lean back. Lie kick. Kick. Yeah. Not power. Lie kick. Oh no! <laughs> Champion score. I don't want to hurt him. I don't want to. He's, he's a nice man. Oh, it's a smoker. motivation. There is one thing that I learned back in my years in the military, that when you're learning any new skill, not just martial arts, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So when you start off everything, don't try to go balls to the wall. I'm guilty of this as well. But when you're learning a new skill, slow. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Got it? Now comes everybody's favorite part of Muay Thai training, putting on some gloves and doing uh, some pad up. work. But you will see, you see me lift and push up, open. All fake. 
ปากลายเอฟโอเคโอเคเซอร์ฟีโอเคเออ just now Crew Song Cran has taught me two techniques in regards to uh, doing fake uppercuts you do a fake uppercut you pretty much do a faint uppercut and then just drip then use your hand to grab their guard and then pull that pull their guard away throw them and elbow whatever side you're you use your opening you with it's pretty devious elbows to the face not gonna like it hurts has that happened to you yeah although doctor stitch you yeah so crew song cran has been a recipient of many elbows in his professional career <laughs> very hurt yeah <laughs> You feel incredibly empowered when you're punching with your glove onto the pad and just hearing that loud smack. A lot of sweat coming oh, coming to my eye. Okay. After the second haircut, oh, yeah, okay. too much hair in the way. Limba, oh sweet. Okay. Okay. I screwed up. Pan. Kid. Back. Stand up is amazing. It's a lot of great work. I kind of wish I got a haircut and I wasn't sweating so much. Uh, Chris Songkran thinks I'm I'm tired, but but it's it's more so like the sweat that's like dripping my eyes, and I'm like ah. So first thing I do, I need to get a haircut. Next next time next time I train, this long hair it's not gonna work out. <laughs> it's getting the way of training. But nonetheless, like very good training. Go good luck. Thank you. Thank you. It's 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 good training. Even if you guys are don't have the cardiovascular endurance yet keyword yet get your ass over here try it out you'll build it up all right Oof. Oof. yeah okay fun kick joy kick yeah bye 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 i can continue I can. no 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 hurt ah. yeah. okay kick Some intense training, did a lot of knee work, knees and elbows, generating your main power, especially when you're in Muay Thai fights. Power is power, it comes from the elbows and the knees, and my shins are freaking smoked right now. They are hurt, but pain is good. Good, again. Yeah, no. Come on. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think that might be the end for today's training. Uh, my shins are pretty smoked, but I'm nonetheless, it's just like running. You're gonna hate it in the beginning, but once you, you do more and more, you're gonna but, love it. But you, you strong, you're strong. But you strong, you okay. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's complimenting. Okay, I'm gonna now kick, kick back. Ah. Uh, just when I thought I was finished and was about to flee away from Crew Song Cram's torturous training, he pulls me right back in. The devil he is. And makes me embark on the most painful shin kick training from hell. 
And believe me, these are no joke. My shins are still bright red as I'm recording this voiceover. Tiger bomb. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tiger okay, so bomb better today. <laughs> Tiger bomb bin. I need, sure. I need Tiger bomb. Go <laughs> okay. pharmacy. Pharmacy <laughs> Tiger bomb. I'm gonna need a lot of Tiger bomb after this. Okay. Yeah, yeah yeep. Okay. <laughs> so much pain. Oh, those shin kicks are uh, shin kicks at that bag. They are no joke, man. They are literally on infernal fire. Fuck. This shit fucking hurts. Fuck me. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a amazing, I think it was about an hour, hour something of uh, intense Muay Thai workout. I don't know what it is, but I think it, it's probably with my Chinese upbringing that, you know, when I, growing up, we're raised to view elders as like revered people, like older, older individuals, parents, grandparents as like revered. It stems from like Taoist and Confucius beliefs that you know the, the senior citizens are the most knowledgeable, wise, and revered. And you know, growing up, I always treated my grandparents, and my parents like that. And I can't help but you know view Kru Songkran as like a, a revered you know parent figure, you know, somebody I look up to and admire and respect. So. Okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah. When I say, I got a soft spot for them. <laughs> but I think that uh, I think that wraps up with uh, all the training. So whether you guys are here in Bangkok, Thailand, or anywhere in Thailand, or anywhere wherever you guys are at, definitely give Muay Thai a try. If you love stand up, everybody's got their niche. You know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Taekwondo, but I think I really enjoy the Thai martial art of Muay Thai. I love stand up, and it's something I enjoy. So wonderful cardio workout. It's going to get you strong, and you know. More than likely, you're gonna have a wonderful trainer like Cruz Songkran, a world champion, that will teach you the ropes and make sure that you're a lethal weapon. Duh, duh, duh. <laughs> 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 no, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. That's it. That's gonna be it for my for the adventures in Bangkok for the time being. Let's go see what we can find and explore. I'm going to put a pause on my motor motorbike adventures for the time being until maybe sometime around next month. So let's see what kind of fun adventures we can get around here in Thailand. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are all well. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.